Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to upload customer lists on Google Ads. Before we go straight to the point, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you in advance. And off we go. So, you have a list of data. Customers, people who used to be your customers, you want to upload them on Google Ads to improve your campaign performance. You are going to come here to Google Ads. You are going to go on the top in the old interface. You're going to click on Tools and Settings on the top. And once you click on Tools and Settings, you're going to go under Shared Library and click Audience Manager. So you're going to click here, Audience Manager. Then what you're going to do, you are going to stay on Segments and you're going to click on the plus symbol. And you're going to select Customer List. So one more time, Tools and Settings, under the shared library audience manager, then under segments, you're going to click the plus symbol. You're going to click customer list. Now that you came here, you're going to give your audience a name. I'm going to call it test audience. And you're going to select under data type, upload emails, phone numbers, and or mailing addresses. And you're going to scroll down and here you're going to upload the file of your data. Now, how should this file be structured? These files should be structured in the most simple way, which means email and then a list of all the emails that you have. Nothing too fancy, basically, right? So you need one column and all the emails that are relevant to your customer list. Very important, you are going to save this file as a CSV, not as an Excel or any other format. So you're going to click on Save As, and you're going to save this file as a CSV, preferably UTF-8, comma, delimited file. So save this file as a CSV, not as an Excel or any other format. So save it like that. And now you have a file that has one column. It says email, and then there is a list of all the emails. You don't need any more data. You don't need names. You don't need surnames. You don't need phone numbers. You just need one column to simplify the process. Can I include more data? Yes, if you have a complete document, meaning if you have name, surname, email, phone number, and address for all the customers, then you can include basically more information. You can click here that says use a template. And you can copy this template if you want to include more data. But my advice is simplify your life. One column, just email and a list of emails. Then you're going to click here that says drop file here. And you are going to select this file. You're going to open. And that's it. So now you can customize the membership duration. So if you want, for example, these users to, let's say, be remembered for a specific number of days, for example, let's say, a year or something, and then the system is going to disregard the audience, then you can customize that. If you don't care, then you're going to say no expiration. If you want, you can also give a description. What are these users all about? Very important, you need to agree that these data were collected through the legal processes. So you legally collected this data. You didn't buy this data from anywhere else. And then you're going to save and continue. And once you save and continue, then the system basically will take this data and will this data will be uploaded. And that's it basically, right? So now you have an audience that is populating here, which is relevant to your customer list. This is the process that you need to follow in the old interface. I'm saying that because a lot of you that are new in Google Ads are probably seeing the new interface. And that's what we're going to, to do next. We're going to go to the new interface and run the same process. So last time, you come to Google Ads, Tools and Settings, Audience Manager, under Segments, you click the plus symbol, you select Customer List, Upload Emails, Phones, and or Mailing Addresses. You give your audience segment a name. You agree to the terms and conditions that these data are legally collected. Your file should be CSV, one column, only emails. You upload, you are done. Now, for those of you who are in the new interface or you prefer the new interface for some reason, let me actually change and go to new design. So again, you're going to come here to Google Ads. 
on the top, you're not going to see tools and settings because the menu in the new interface is on the left. So you are going to go on tools, basically here, and then under tools, you should be able to see an option that is called share library. And under the option that is called share library, you need to click on audience manager. From here, the process is exactly the same. So tools from the left-hand side, under share library, there is audience manager. Then you're going to click on the plus symbol here under your data segments. And then you're going to select customer list. Same process, you give your audience a name, upload emails and phone numbers. You upload your CSV file. You agree in the legal agreement here and done. From there, you can take and you can attach this audience to your campaign. We're probably going to do another video about that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and have a great day in any time zone. Don't forget to subscribe once again. Bye, everyone.